Hello! Would you want to discover all the ecosystems you can find in Mexico? Ranging from the highest mountains to the deep seas, passing through deserts and coral reefs, cloud forests and coastal lagoons. A true paradise! So make yourself comfortable and travel with us through the incredible ecosystems of Mexico. Let's get started! Let's get it started in here! Yeah. This ecosystem is dominated by trees in various strata, with an abundance of ferns and epiphytes, with a generally rainy and cloudy climate almost all year round. This ecosystem occupies 1% of the national territory, and these small portions are distributed in 20 states. To know this ecosystem, you can visit the Sierra Manantal in Jalisco, in this place, you can do ecotourism where you will be surrounded by springs, flora and fauna as if it were a sweet dream. Temperate forests. This ecosystem with abundant trees such as pines and oaks that inhabit mountainous areas with a temperate and cold climate. Did you know that Mexico contains 50% of the pine species in the world? Temperate forests occupy 16% of the Mexican territory, distributed throughout the country from north to south. A recommendation to visit this ecosystem is the temperate forest of Ocoyac in the state of Mexico, one of the characteristic places of this ecosystem, located a few minutes from Mexico City, where you'll find multiple activities to do. Scrubs this ecosystem is dominated by shrubs, generally smaller than 4 meters. The climate is mainly dry and with little rain. Since it is occupied about 30% of the country with a wide distribution, there is a large amount of scrubs with diverse composition and structure, distributed mainly in the north of the country. One of the places that have different ecosystems, including its scrublands, is the Baja California Peninsula, in the Loreto Nature Reserve, where you can do activities such as mountain biking or rock climbing. Grasslands This ecosystem in other parts of the world is known as a steppe or savanna. In these areas, mainly grasses predominate and it is characterized by the scarcity of trees. Grasslands occupy 6% of the national territory and are mainly distributed in the northern part of the country. The climate is cool and temperatures range between 12 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. One of the recommended places to get to know this ecosystem is the Corron National Park in San Luis Potosí. It occupies a wide valley whose main attraction is its hot springs which motivate a large influx of visitors. Humid forests They are one of the most exuberant areas of the country due to the amount of vegetation that composes it. This ecosystem is mainly distributed in southern Mexico. These areas are characterized by abundant rains, with an average temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. The rainforests are those with the highest species richness. To carry out ecotourism in the humid forests, it is recommended to visit the Lacandon jungle. This natural reserve gives rise to tourism. In this place, you can do multiple activities such as rafting and kayaking, as well as exploring some incredible waterfalls. At Parador Valle Escondido, you can explore Las Golondrinas Waterfall. Pop Chapul and visit the archaeological sites of Yaxchitlan and Bonampak. Dry forests. This ecosystem is dominated by small trees, with warm climate and little rainfall. They have a unique diversity with many endemic species. The dry forests occupy about 12% of the national surface distributed along the Pacific Ocean from the Baja California Peninsula to the Yucatan Peninsula. A recommendation to get to know these areas is our home, near Puerto Vallarta, where you will find this ecosystem and do ecotourism, in a place called The Eden, where the movie Predator was filmed, and the best part is that you can visit this place, 
and do activities such as taking a zip line tour, hiking, cooling off in the pools, or swimming in the river. Check out videos about Puerto Vallarta and natural attractions to get to know more about this incredible place. Now we hope you dare to visit Mexico and the diverse ecosystem that it has to offer. And before you go, don't forget to share this video with your friends and to follow us on social media to learn new things about Mexico. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.